Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to show you how to automatically send Google Form responses to a Telegram group, complete with interactive buttons that update your Google Form responses sheet. When a team member presses a button to accept a job, the status is instantly updated in both the Telegram message and your Google Form responses sheet. This ensures everyone is on the same page and tasks are tracked seamlessly from start to finish, and ensure no task slips through the cracks. If you're ready, let's get started. First step, grab our special Google Sheets template. You can find the link right in the description below. Go ahead and make a copy of it. Great, the template is now open on your screen. The next step is to create a Telegram bot and put the API here as well as the chat ID. Please watch my earlier video on how to create a Telegram bot and get the necessary information. Once this is filled up, let's head over to our Google Form. Under Responses, click on the three dots and select the destination for the form responses. OK, here we need to select the existing spreadsheet option. And select our template and then press this button. OK, let's now head back to our template. As you can see, the form responses sheet is now in our template. OK, what we need to do is to type the name of the form responses sheet in this cell here. Please also type a suitable title in this cell for your Telegram message. Next, you can specify the columns that you want included in your Telegram message. For example, I may not want to include a particular column. So here, I will just list down the columns that I want included in the message. Next up, you can specify the text that will appear in your first and second buttons. I have filled the boxes here but you can change it depending on your use case. You can also specify the messages that will appear when you press the buttons. Use the placeholders as shown. OK here, there is an option for you to choose. Tick the box if you want the first button to appear first. The second button will only appear once you press the first button. OK, next up, you should see a special menu at the top. And then press this. Since this is the first time you're running this script, Google will ask you to authorize permissions. Click OK. Choose your Google account. Then click Advanced. And proceed by clicking this link. Finally, click on Allow. With permissions done, let's click on the menu again to install the form trigger. OK, the next step is to get the webhook URL so Telegram can communicate with Google Sheets. Press Extensions. And click on Apps Script. Then press this blue Deploy button here. And press New Deployment. In this box, type in any description. Make sure the settings are fixed as shown here. Then, select Web App. Lastly, press the Deploy button. OK, you will need to provide permissions. Follow as shown here. Now, you should be able to see the Web App URL here. Copy the URL. Go back to our template. And paste the URL right here. Then, go to the menu again and press this to install the webhook. OK, the last thing we need to fill up is to specify which column to put the status updates when the Telegram button is pressed. So in our case the available column is column G. Let's fill it here. And that's it. Let's test it out. Let me fill up the Google form with some data and press Submit. And yes, we have just received our first Telegram message. And can you see the beautiful button right here? Let's press the button. And the button disappears. You can view the status update right here so you will know who pressed the button. And you can also see that the second button has now appeared. Now, let's check out our Google Form responses. And yes, can you see the status update is magically reflected here. Now let's head back to Telegram. And we press the second button. The button disappears and you can see who pressed the button with the timestamp. This is very useful for tracking and accountability. Now, let's go back to the Google Form responses. And yes, the status message has been updated automatically to reflect the latest message. And there it is. You've successfully set up automatic notifications for your Google Form responses in Telegram with interactive buttons that update the Google Form responses sheet. 
This method is perfect for staying updated on Google Form responses and managing tasks efficiently. Let me know how it worked out for you.